Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to Neon Loathing. I did some off-screen grinding, as you may be able to tell by my drop in adventures, but I finally combined these fucking scrolls. And now, I finally got another scroll, and I combined them. And now I have combined both of these. Wait. Wait, what did I just do? What, what have I done? Okay, I think that should be fine now, right? That's my fucking voice mod thing that I have installed. Hopefully, though. Okay, a quest LOL. This is what we needed. And now we use this scroll. Let's kill you, right? Okay. Then we go to the recent items. Yes. Scroll the number 64735 written on it. Queer. Wait, no, don't hit me, man. I meant it like weird. That's interesting. Transported to the gates of Baron Rothlum Lothau's castle. You briefly wonder why you weren't transported inside the castle, then... You realize that no number resembles the letter C. Baron stands before you. Venture, I've fought bravely to rid my valley of the whole flying or at least annoying creatures. I notice you have a powerful weapon you have been using against them. If you'll give it to me so I may guard against future attacks, I will award you handsomely. Even though your name isn't Lee, you're flattered and hand over your dictionary. Wait a few minutes while I have my scribes and copy this amazing book. Lee's room comes back a few minutes later. Here you go. You can do whatever you want with that thing now. Heck, silly if you got a mind to. You can have this axe I found. Thank you for your help. Interesting. It's crap. It's an axe made of drywall. It looks like it'd be good for wall hacking or hacking of the covered in monster ch monster guts afterwards type. Okay. Is that it? Is that everything? It is. Okay. Let's uh, let's head over to that island then, huh? Since I kind of blue balled you all. All right, this is the new island map. Ooh, isn't that interesting? Ooh, wowzers. Fascinating. Sometimes I really do enjoy seeing just the art in this game. Anyway, got the organic orchard, the junkyard, the island arena, the orchestra frat house, the battlefield, the hippie camp, Mc McGill and Guddy's farm, a lighthouse, a conspicuous absence of pirates, and Our Lady of her Perpetual Indecision. Heck, uh, check in with our buddies first. Welcome to the quartermaster's room. He's using a pocket knife to scratch a crude in every sense of the word bit of graffiti in the countertop, so it takes a few minutes for him to notice you. Hey, bruh, he says. Quick, look and tell me if I spelled this word right. Actually, you say it ends with I-S, not U-S, but you're close. Uh, thanks, brah. Uh, good, brah. You got some gear to trade in. Here's what you can get for it, brah. Oh, it gives me quarters oh that's interesting okay so the loot i get will actually give me shit i can give you like one quarter for that gear nice going bruh yeah yeah turn them all in nice sake bomb i've had a sake bomb uh baki full of sake with a wick sticking out of the top so it's a molotov cocktail from the far east instead of russia it's nothing like a mazel tov cocktail an actual sake bomb is um i think warm sake and cold beer or the other way around they balance uh, a shot glass of sake on top of a uh, tall glass of beer and then someone smacks the table and uh, the sake will fall into the beer and that's the bomb part uh, and then you have to drink it in one in one swallow while everyone or uh, in one big chug while everyone shouts Haki Amendeo at you it costs 50 quarters it's a two handed club paddle digs back to the establishment of the orcish frat before wood was discovered it's important to never ever clean this paddle the year of accumulated sweat and grime lend a unique flavor to the punishment i don't like the idea of a flavor um so what do we got uh you got six quarters on file brah here's what you can create them for we can get a commemorative war stein it helps me remember the war super amplified boombox it's a combat item Monstar energy beverage. Unleash your inner monster with Monstar. It's hella wicked extreme. Makes you want to throw it away instead of drinking it. I imagine you use that to make a Jaeger bomb or something like that. 
Okay. Okay, I was just going to say that didn't anything. So, let's keep looking. Mysterious Island Arena. Wander up to the amphitheater, mentally picturing yourself pouring your heart out in front of millions of screaming fans, but don't worry, we won't tell anyone. You see two guys scuffling in front of the bulletin board where upcoming action post their flyers. One has carefully disheveled hair, a polo shirt, and a pop collar. General sm air of smug superiority. He has uh, dressed like your basic trust fund hippie. Expensive clothes designed to look like they were drug out of a trash can. Yeah, I know the feeling. I know the shit out of that. Uh, both men are frantically pa uh, papering? Papering over each other's posts as fast as they can. As you watch, they finally drop their posts and stop grappling <laughs> sissy fun each other. Uh, what's the pop? Uh, what's the problem here, guys? Charney pop collar stops kicking the hippie in the ribs and glances at you. When he sees how you're dressed, he says... Hey, I'm trying to present a really sensitive but totally angsty concept by Loathing's best screaming crying band, Radioactive Child. <laughs> I've never heard of them, you say. Surely you've heard their hit single. If you want to tell people the truth, make them laugh. Otherwise, they'll kill you royale with cheese. It's about the lead singer's girlfriend left him for another guy. But to show their clever and hip, screaming crying bands use famous quotes and pop culture references that are song titles. And make sure the title never has to do anything with the song. Wow, that certainly isn't the dumbest thing I've ever heard. You say, well, meaning the opposite. I mean, everyone knows there's no future in pop culture references. Ha. Huh. Help me out if you take the sack of flyers and put them up all over the kingdom. You can stick them right on the enemies you fight. They won't mind. Help me out. You'll be rewarded with the greatest gift the world can offer. Pause the loot. Really getting to know the soul of a sensitive, tortured young vocalist. Why is he tortured? Well, he's the lead singer of a rock band, but he was born with only half a tongue and no nostrils. <laughs> wow. Let's go to the hippie farm. Can't make it past all the hippies. Oh, yeah, this is in our way now. Let's go here. Oh, we can't. Our Lady of Perpetual Indecision. Can't get there. Oh, so I can only go on this side. Interesting. Sonata Beach. Son of a beach. Thoughts of Jonathan Joestar fill your heart. Finally, some help. Bump it a bump it a bump. Here I was, minding my own business, trying to make the big boom, big boom, bump it a bump. When all of a sudden war breaks out, war bump it a bump it a bump. These pirates, they went away. But on the way out, they sank the ship, bringing me my gunpowder. I need it for the big, big boom, bump it a bump. Try to go down to Son of a Beach, see if it washed up, but bump it a bump. But there's lobster frogmen down there, too tough for me to handle. You get it for me? Bump it a bump. Five barrels at least. Oh boy. We apologize to our English players for the lameness of the pun. You search the flotsam strewn beach for a while, looking for the alchemist lost gunpowder shipment. You're unable to find any and briefly consider there may be a conspiracy to keep you from finding it. You decide, however, that such a gunpowder plot would be partly mental and. Ugh. You wander further along the beach, trying to remember what was so important about the 5th of Buzember anyway, when you discover a large crate stenciled with a red cross, the symbol of the pharmacist guild. Levering open the lid, you find a supply of scurvy crates must have been lo <laughs> lost en route to the obligatory pirate's cove. Ha ha. Yeah, no wonder you had to apologize to the fucking English players. You're finding a lobster frogman. Lobster frogman. Lobster frogman. With its shambling, hunched-over gait, horrible rotten fish shell, and rudimentary language sounds like a drowning moose, the lobster frogman is one of the most pathetic yet simultaneously annoying creatures of the kingdom's monster population. It squints one eye at you, holds up his pincer, and squishes your head. You lose 32 hit points. Let's mop him. I hit him. Oh, we got a barrel of gunpowder. That's nice. So I guess I'm just going to be hanging out here for a little bit. Uh, beach blanket Yahtzee. You commotion further down the beach and your curiosity gets a better of you. Following the sun, you discover a bunch of teenagers having a party, playing that rock and roll music, dancing up a storm. Figuring, what the heck? You join in and show off your moves. It's pretty moxious. A lobster frogman, a uh, lobster frog guy bursts out of the surf and charges into the group. Dee Dee starts to scream as Monster starts doing the mashed potato and everyone cheers. Party continues full swing right up to the point where Frankie gets eaten. Apart from that, it was a pretty groovy scene. Nice. Holy shit. Uh... You pick your way along the coastline through piles of driftwood and broken place left from decades of wrecked ships. You don't find any gunpowder, but you smot the indigenous frog lobster guys, shuffling along the water's edge. Figuring an easy kill to justify the time otherwise wasted on the flotsam strewn beach, you start to roam with weapon rays. He sees you and shouts, grr, 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 in alarm. Then about 15 million more of the slimy bastards run out of the surf and beat the hell out of you, jerks. Another lobster frog, man. Fuck. He rips off one of your arms and dips it in melted butter. Not really, but wouldn't it be poetic justice if he did? Let's uh, let's pop some skulls. Let's look some wounds, yeah. That should uh, that should keep me up. Oh, save the Texas prairie chicken. 
stretch over a low dune on the beach and nearly stumble over the corpses of several pirates. Ooh. After poking them a few times to make sure they're not going to rise up in a horrible, groaning parody of life, you search them for valuables. Why are pirate zombies so common? I mean, no judge. Pirate zombies are cool as fuck. I just, I'm interested, you know? Search them for valuables. You discover one of them is carrying a shovel, one elaborate iron key, and a treasure map. From this, you deduce there must, they must have killed each other over the treasure. Find the spot marked on the map a few feet away and start digging. Con- uh, uncover a stout oaken chest, which unlocks easily with a key you found. Slowly and dramatically, you lift the lid and discover a green wool cap with a pom-pom on top. You found Mike Nesmith's locker. Okay. I don't know who that is. Lead singer of the monkeys. Ah. Okay. All right. That's fine. Poking around the piles of wreckage on the coastline, you find a crate that appears to be undamaged. It has valuable sensors on the side. You excitedly pull it free of the debris and pry open the lid. It appears to be full of carved dry wood, driftwood animals. What the heck? Three valuable trinkets. Uh, hmm. I can come back and do that later. For now, let's go check on... Uh, I wish I could eat more of these. Oh, valuable trinket. Poorly made little trinket, but because it comes from the distant lands, it's valuable here. Is that like West of Loathing? Okay. Junkyard. Next to that barrel was something burning in it, near abandoned refrigerator, over where the old tires are, out by that rusted out car, and Yuzari and the Junkman. Oh, I see you're a soldier of some sort. Man, the uniforms has changed back in my day. What was I in? Oh, the, you know, the one between the Cola Wars and now. I'm sure there's a whole history of it somewhere. I'm hoping you can help a military man out. You got a few minutes? Yeah, what do you need? So was I in the war. a bomber on Air Force. I looked out the window and saw something on the wing. Something on the wing. Funny thing, I've been trying to get her like, kicked out of the service, but trying to convince him I was sane, but it said not wanting to get in a plane and get shot at. Shot out wasn't insane, so I had to keep flying. Once I told him about the... Uh, Gremlin I saw, that gave me a Section 8 without having me to put on a dress. <laughs> Gremlin followed me here, though, for a while, kept him as a pet, but I tried to give him a bath, he multiplied. There's two swarms of living gremlins running around here. I'm trying to f- fix up some of the old junk of cars here, but they stole my tools. I got to catch 22 of those creatures. Probably some of them now. Some dumb signs was here the other day. They did all sorts of experiments that mutating. I'm missing my entire molybdenum tool set. My hammer, screwdriver, pliers, plunge, crescent wrench. Magnet, you magnet to get away from gremlins. Give me my tools. I can fix up the car for your war effort. Cool. Let's, uh, let's pop some molybdenum out. A bat wing gremlin. Gremlins on the whole are slimy, mottled green creatures with more warts, fangs, claws than you can shake a stick at. This gremlin takes the whole good old-fashioned nightmare fuel theme a step further. It has giant leathery wings growing out of its back. As such, it's more effective than a gremlin wing bat, since gremlins don't normally have wings. Gremlin wing bats are pretty much <laughs> amputee mice. It soups around above you, cackling madly and getting ready to power dive you. You jump it, though. Nice. So let's take a look here. Side quests. Oh, fuck. Order of the Silver was name. Oh boy. Okay, let's take a look at the side quests. Mysterious Island Arena. Junkyard Lighthouse. Okay. Actually, wait. We're doing Junkyard right now. So what's this? All attributes plus 11, plus 11, plus 11. Percents. Defeat both armies. 99 of either combatant. Okay. Hmm. Well, I don't actually care because I want to do it for the orcs. Yazarian's tools. Okay. Talk to him again. He'll mention seeing one of his tools. Go over where he tells you and fight the gremlins. Okay, interesting. 
Not my tools yet. Missing my hammer. Last time I saw my hammer was next to that barrel with something burning in it. Okay. A vegetable gremlin. Gremlin is in a permanent vegetative state. This isn't a gremlin in a permanent vegetative state. That wouldn't be particularly threatening and in stunningly poor taste. It's a gremlin some bad scientist was using to just test genetic splicing for plants. It's your basic slimy green fang claw monstrosity, only with cabbages, tomatoes, and carrots growing off of it at odd angles. Science. <laughs> it picks a beat off of itself and beats you with it. You wish it would let the beat drop instead. All right. Let's just fucking bonk him. Okay. Tool drop can be... There are two subtypes of each gremlin type. One who is holding the tool and one who is not. The combat messages are identical. One attack un unambiguously identifies it. Okay. Buffets you in the solar plexus with the levy... With its leathery wings. It hurts worse than being buffeted in the jimmy, oddly enough. It does a bombing run on, on your head. You don't really want to know what it bombed you with. With what it just bombed you. An AMC gremlin. This is an ambulatory motor car gremlin. A slimy, foul-tempered, fang-clawed little bastard used spare parts to build itself a little car to drive. All needs a little funnily hat, and it can go around pelting children with hard candy. As it is, the wheels drastically increase this gremlin's clawing and maiming radius. Revs it in to get the RPMs up to the red line and it peels out, leaving a smoking patch of rubber on the asphalt and drives right over you. Tire tracks go with your outfit, though. Damn. Okay, so I don't exactly understand this. Kill like any other monster. It can't help your quest. You can banish it without preventing the tool-wheeling monster. If you're finding the correct gremlin type... When you see it throw a tool at you, using one of the messages above on the next round, use the molybdenum magnet. When you catch a tool, you win the fight. Oh, I need them to hit me. Don't kill the correct gremlin. Use a low-level attack, a reusable skill that doesn't damage, or a bunch of weak shit. Okay, so it's only the Batwing Gremlins that I'm hunting right now. Give me another Batwing. Gremlin juice. Ew. Give me another Batwing. Okay. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, okay. Seal tooth, right? Yeah, one damage. 32 hit points. Wait, does this mean... Wait, no, it's this one. You're finding the correct gremlin with a tool. When you see it throw a tool at you, use the molybdenum magnet. Okay. Thank goodness there wasn't a bad pun in this attack. Oh, whoops. It hits me. I gotta kill it. Damn. Damn, damn, damn. This is uh, something of a puzzle. Um, I haven't even gotten to the main bulk of this, which... Oh, right, yeah, I've got to do this. Um, so let's take a look at the other ones. Uh, the arena. It becomes available wearing... Wait, what? Oh, no, this is for the other side. Uh, rock band or jam band flyers adventure everywhere in the kingdom except and slap flyers in the battle uh, stronger the monsters you distribute posters to the fewer you have to hand them out to they don't like flyers stuck to them okay interesting interesting Okay, so I'm definitely going to do this because I want to do all the side quests in this area. Um, hey, maybe I'll do it next time. Um, this has been Kingdom Loathing, a side questy and confused episode. Uh, I've been Alfred. I'll see you guys next week. Thank you for joining me. Bye. <laughs>